title this with good morning because it is morning for me now. Uh, just want to give you guys a heads up. This is going to be a very long live feed. I want to um, get to say goodnight to the kid before she goes to bed. I started, I, I start the new job tomorrow night, which means that now my sleeping schedule. So I'm officially on graveyards starting at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So I stayed up all night last night and then I went to bed at like noon-ish today and slept until just a little bit ago. So I'm adjust, I've already adjusted my sleep schedule. This is just kind of quick gonna be like, hey, what's going on with the channel? Um, I'm still gonna put up videos. I'm gonna try and get stuff scheduled. There probably will not be a live feed. Bladed Ginger! There probably won't be a lot. I don't, I'm gonna have to figure out like how I'm gonna do live feeds on the days that there aren't videos because I'm gonna do these. So they're probably gonna be in the mornings when I get home. So this is tomorrow's. So I know you guys got a video today, but you're also gonna get this. So uh, I'm off Mondays and Tuesdays. So those are probably gonna be my filming days and stuff like that. So I just had breakfast. Um, I haven't done graveyards in a long time. I'm actually looking forward to it. I liked graveyards. How's the audio, by the way? Because I've got my uh, microphone system set up. So as you can see, um, a new job, new job. I start a new job. It's a brand new job site. It's a brand new company. Um, I was lucky enough that a friend of mine basically reached out to me and he was like, hey man, are you still looking for a job? And I was like, yeah, because I, I was trying to get back into working for the government, which as much as it, like, it made me sick to my stomach to fill out applications to start working for the government again. If you don't know, I used to be a GS-11 um, for the Department of Defense, <clears throat> and I hated it, and I was gonna wind up having a heart attack, so I quit. If you guys remember back in the day, originally, I did that, I did physical security, anti-terrorism, counter-surveillance, and I, I quit, I just couldn't take it. Like, it was just ridiculous, the stuff that was going on. And I, it, this is how all this all started. Well, I, I was like, okay, you know, kids going to college, I, I, the YouTube revenue has absolutely dropped off. Super chats aren't coming in, which not trying to talk you guys into dropping a super chat. I'm just saying like they stopped coming in. The economy sucked. People don't have money to just throw at a YouTuber like they used to. And so I basically was like, I got to figure something out. So I started applying for federal jobs again. Um, unfortunately, the ones I was applying for were ones that no one wanted. So they, they were picked over. So it was like, Alaska, Tennessee, shit like that. And so I um, got a call and my buddy was like, are you still looking for a job? And he said, yeah. And I was like, he's like, well, not anymore. Um, so I filled out all of my new hire packet stuff this morning. It's with a company called Olive Very Security. I'm gonna be running a monitoring center. Um, so it's been cool. Oh, baseline member. Whoa, I've been watching you this long. Will B has been a baseline member for 24 months. Thank you, Will. Um, so yeah, I, I'm still going to do live feeds. I just got to figure the schedule out. Um, like I said, I woke up at like 8 p.m. It's like 9 now. I, I helped my kid make some French toast for her for a, a late night dinner because she used to work on her calculus. She just filled out her acceptance to UCSD. So she's officially accepted and enrolled at uh, University of Southern California, San Diego. U UC San uh, University of California, San Diego. So she's going to be here. But like I said, with the new schedule, I mean, I'm not going to be on, I'm not going to be on graveyards forever. But what was this? A thoughts on the, lam the Lamia? Oh, the Lamina. The Lamia. Oh, I wasn't going to do a bunch of knife stuff because I put all my... It's a mess out here. It's a mess out here because I was out here all night. The Lamia. Let me grab mine, and I'm going to tell you something about it. It is a knife that I carry much more than a lot of other knives. Um, so let me know if the audio gets weird and hummy. I'm moving the, the receiver around with me. It's, a, it's attached to a charger. Uh, the Lamia is, people are like, oh, it's too expensive. Uh, it's, this is probably, this is, this, is, this is hard to say. This is probably one of the best knives out there. And big shout out to Alex Steingraber. He gave this one to me. Uh, this was in crew wear. The new ones are gonna be in LMAX. 
and he's working on getting up. This is probably the sliciest knife I've ever had. This is, it, does, it almost doesn't exist behind the edge. His heat treat on crew wear was really good. How's your French toast? Good. Help my daughter make French toast. Um, well, that's how you learn to make things the first time. So, uh, yeah. It's okay. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's the new job. The new job sounds like it's gonna be fun. It's, I'm still gonna be able to do videos and stuff. It's not like it's, it's not like it's overwhelming pay, but it's definitely more than I was making when I was working construction and it's nowhere near as hard to work. So pizza lover forever. How are you? Just got my new proto from DEF CON Nice. Hopefully I can get it to reviewer in for reviewers soon. Um, wait. Did you make the, are you, okay, wait, let me ask you a question. Bladed Ginger, are you the guy that designed the Geo for, for Beyond EDC Knives? Is that you? Cause I just saw the, I just saw the logo cause I don't have my reading glasses on. So I got it far enough away I could actually see. Um, yes, I love that knife. Absolutely, you, if you want to send me one, I will do it. I will try to rush my schedule even though I'm gonna have way less filming days and testing days. I absolutely love the Geo. I did not expect to like it. I was like, I was like Nico, uh, my little buddy Nico was like, oh yeah, I met the guy. He seems like a really good dude. I did not know that was you. I just recognized the logo. That thing is up there. The final review has not been done on that knife yet because I carry it. It gets carried a lot and it's a really nice design. I mean, I have some issues with it and it's size of my hands and the nerve damage. So like the top flipper is not exactly the best for me, but it's a really, oh, sorry, I just hit the microphone. It's a really good knife. That's a really good knife. So I absolutely, I saw it and I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna like this one. And then I carried it for a while. And I was like, okay, I was wrong. It happens. It happens, you get knives in, you don't expect to like. Uh, yeah, okay, so do me a favor. Uh, if Will B would do it, drop the, Will, drop the community Discord link in. He's one of my moderators, so you can drop that link in. Drop that community Discord link in, and then uh, I would ask you to follow that link and join. It's the guild. It's my gilded server. It's the public one, um, and then you can hit me up on the DM function, and uh, that way, that way, it's like private. It's person to person, and it, it's encrypted. I can send you my address, so you can send it to me. And not trying to get a freebie. Like uh, as long as you're cool with me having it here long enough to to get through everything, and then it can go. I'll send it back to you, and it can go back. Like I, I say that all the time. There you go. Um, no, I'm not gonna be, bro. I'm working. I'm working five days a week, um, Mondays and Tuesdays off here in San Diego. There's no way. So yeah, that link that he just posted. Yeah, it's like it's exactly what it is. It's Discord without the censorship. Um. Speaking of censorship, my boy has been banned from YouTube for a while. So yeah, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get time frame figured out for live feeds. I like doing them at like lunchtime because that hits everyone up. What's up, midnight? Um, the uh, what was I getting ready to say? Um, the live feeds are probably going to be when I get home from work in the mornings. Um, Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm going to film. Um, I, I can film during the week as well. Uh, I don't want to take up too much time doing live feeds because I do have to film. Uh, so, uh, testing and things like that. The nice thing is I get off work at 730. I'm home by eight ish, 830. I don't go to, I'm not going to be going to sleep until uh, probably like one and then getting up. So I'll have time to do stuff, but there may be days where you just don't get live feeds. Um, even though I want to try and get back to doing them. And I like doing them this way because it gets more interaction. There's way more people here now than there usually are. Speaking of which, if you're here, hit that like button. So pivot. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video about his knife. It's, as a matter of fact, it's sitting right here because, where it should be, did I put it away? I may have put it back in a case. Nope, it's right here. Um, this is the knife I'm talking about. Uh, I like this. 
Really comfortable in hand, slicey, slicey, slicey. It is hot out here. I'm gonna open that garage door. Open up the garage door. We have mountain lions right now, so. Um, I'm not a fan of Tontos, but you know, hey, your design, your design language, you do what you do. What you do. I mean, I, I'll, I'll review it, but just know that I don't like Tontos as much. I like some. I close that screen so we don't get bugs in here. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm just, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up what's going on with the channel. Uh, I got stuff going on that I'm working on that I've got to do. There is a chance that the drop point version of the Sea Snake is going to get released by Katsu Knives. I've been talking with them. It's not a definite, but so if you like the size of the Sea Snake fixed blade, the little one, um, it's over here, I think. Uh, if you like it, yeah, it's right here. So if you like this knife, I'm, really, I'm trying to get a drop point version of this released. Um, same size, it's just basically this blade flipped over. So um, I sent them the design, it'll be, we'll call it the Habu, and Katsu is doing, sorry guys, I didn't clean that lens. I just got done making stuff. Any chance of a clip point? That's, uh, that's too small of a knife to be doing like a clip point. Um, so hang on a second. Yeah, it's, it's, I dig it. And, and like I said, it's one of those knives that surprised me. Didn't think I was gonna like it. Um, really didn't think I was gonna like it just looking at it. It's one of those ones that you look at something and you're like, I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know. But like I said, after carrying it for a while, um, my problem is I get my finger pinched in there. But um, I've cut with it a good bit. I, I did do a quick touch up on it, but I mean, I like the fact it's really nice and thin. Like if, if you're gonna do a nice Warren Cliff like this, the behind the edge is kind of important, and this thing is an absolute laser. Look at that. So this is bladed. This is bladed Ginger's design. This is the Geo. If you like this, go over to Blade HQ, or and I'm sorry, to Blade HQ, uh, Beyond EDC Knives, and you can get it. I can save you 40% on this uh, with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. You can go pick these up, sell them out, go buy them all up, go buy them up. He gets he gets paid every time somebody buys one of these. Go buy them all. They're, they're not that expensive either, and it's a really good knife. Nice deep carry pocket clip and everything. And like I said, 40% off. Coupon code crazy sharp, all one word, all lowercase. You can go grab one of these. Support bladed ginger there. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on out here. Uh, it's a mess out here right now. I was doing a bunch of stuff last night. Bilgewater blades, I haven't seen one but I do know they're here. Um, I do know they're here in San Diego and I haven't had a chance to even like hook up with them, figure out where they're at. I mean, Tor Knives is here in San Diego and I've never went to their site. Half, bla Half Face Blades, Andy is here. And uh, so is Anza Knives. The problem is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> a lot of times knife companies don't want, they don't want you there. Like, Bob Trizuola is a good friend of mine. If you guys haven't watched it, I did a, an in-depth interview with Bob Trizuola um, here not all that long ago. And I was his shop. And Bob's a really good friend of mine, which is absolutely an honor to be able to say that you're friends with somebody that has got that kind of knife pedigree. Like, Bob Trizuola is a friend of mine. I'm like, I say that. I'm like, that's fucking cool. Um, but also, Bob, when I was making knives, Bob gave me little tidbits of information that were just... Something that just Bob is like, this, this should be something everybody knows. And the second he said it and I tried it, it was like a game changer. I was like, holy shit, that is, that one little thing changed everything about how I made that knife that day. And then every knife I made going forward. Just one little thing, like move your hips to go in a straight line so you don't have the inconsistencies in the blade when you move your body and you wind up having to, to readjust your hand to stay addressed to the grinder as opposed to move your hips move at your hips so that you're in a straight line because if you do turn like this, you're gonna have an uneven grind. And I was like, I did it that day and I was like, fuck. <laughs> like right there, that one little thing. Like he said it in passing. He walked into the grinding room, he was what you working on, Mike? And I was like, I'm trying to get this inconsistency in my uh, distal taper on this. And he goes, he's like, let me watch. And I was grinding, he's like, yeah, stop doing that, do this. And then walked away and then fucking I walked out and I was like, fuck me running. 
that changed everything about how I made knives. Just that one little thing, him saying that one thing made every knife I made after that point 10 times easier to make and more consistent. Like telling me about like uh, how to tell, how to tell if, you're, if, you're, if your belt's not cutting the way you want. Like it feels like it's cutting. It feels like it's still got sharp abrasive on it. And he, he showed me and he was like, yeah, just wet your finger, put your finger on it just ever so slightly. If it doesn't like feel like it's going to try and eat the skin off, it's, then it's just not doing what you want. He's like, it'll feel like it's still sharp. It's just not grinding the way you want. And then you're getting inconsistencies. I was like, fuck. Brilliant. The man is brilliant. So, um... Still in love with this. If you guys didn't watch the video I did about this amphibian, this thing is incredible. I think the next video you guys are gonna get, which will probably be... Okay, cool, yeah. Um, if you joined that, then I'm the... You can just DM me and stuff from that um, bladed ginger. Um, so I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna change the upload schedule because Thursdays, I don't know what it is about Thursdays. Nobody watches videos on Thursdays. Every video I put up, regardless of how good it is, does, it just tanks on Thursdays. So, um, but like I said, I got this and I have one more video that I wanna do with Will's because I have one and Will has one because there's minor differences between my amphibian and his. And then after that, I'm going to send his knife back and then he's, his Casey Gray, if anybody's interested in that, um, uh, Beyond EDC Knives, be devious. Beyond EDC Knives, and if, like I said, you can save, it's right here. The The website is Beyond EDC Knives, B-Y-O-N-D, EDC Knives. And um, you can use coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase and it'll save you 40% off. I'm really good friends with the owner. He wanted me to be able to give you guys a very exclusive discount with everything on their website. But yeah, if you buy them, it supports Bladed Ginger. And it's an affiliate, so it, it, by default, it supports my channel a little bit, but not as much as it supports him. So get them all sold. Get them sold out so he can do another run. David's great. I've known David. I've known David since he still worked for Wee Knife Company. I knew David when he still worked with Wee Knife Company. Um, David is a great dude. I, I, I love David. I don't talk to him as often as I should, but I definitely, uh, definitely love talking to him. I need to get him a call and figure out what's going on um, with my affiliate link stuff and see what, what we've got outstanding to, to get that done. But yeah, I, he gave me that beyond, uh, that beyond EDC coupon code. So that was, uh, that was something I wanted to be, definitely be able to pass on to everyone. So if anyone here is interested at Casey Gray custom quick bird, um, he wants a thousand for it. I think he's now saying he'll take 950. Let me get it out. Actually, I'm not going to get it out cause I'm holding my phone and I don't want to drop that thousand dollar knife. Um, it, it's it's a really nice, yeah, I'll do it. I'll get it out. I'll just do it over the carpet and over my chair. Sorry for the lighting. Uh, we're doing this. I wasn't planning on doing this. Um, but considering it's like my morning, like I wouldn't even be going to work yet. Um, turn this around here. It's this one. This is a quick bird. Timascus, Westinghouse micarta, tooled uh, liners on that liner lock. And then I think that's Thor pattern Damascus in a Tonto. It's a really, really well-made knife. It's a solid, solid tank of a knife. Um, I had a guy show up that he was going to, he, he wanted to pick it up and then he didn't like the color combination. He was like, oh, you got a Casey Gray? And I was like, yeah. But if you look, like, here's the cool thing. Like, the pattern on the Timascus, see how those lines flow right into the lines of, of the Westinghouse? See what I'm saying? Like, there's a pattern, there's a, a line in a pattern, you can see it. And it just looks like it flows right into the pattern of, of the micarta. It's actually really, really cool. It's not so much on this side, but definitely on this side. So... <laughs> This isn't going to be a li long live feed. Um, 
So, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll close that later. I'll close that later. So, where are we at here? That was some careful picking of the materials and hard to make. Yeah, that's, it's fucking awesome. And then I wanted to talk about, I've, I've got some people that are arguing with me about something. I, I don't, I don't know how you could just, did I just screw up my, my microphone setup? No, okay. I, I thought I yanked the cord. This is, this is something I wanted to talk about. I think that, I think that Microtech gets so overlooked when we talk about American brands because Microtech's doing small batch stuff and doing high quality stuff. I talked about this in a live feed. They're doing super high quality stuff, small batch, smaller batch than a lot of other manufacturers. And they're still doing it at a price that makes fucking sense. Like, like Benchmade makes no sense with their pricing. And then you got something like Microtech, which this is leaps and bounds above any Benchmade I've had in the last few years. This is just incredibly well done and just leaps and bounds above what I'm seeing from, from what is the premier American brand in Benchmade. And I, I just don't understand how they, I really don't understand how they can justify their $700 pricing, $500 pricing on some knives that are just ridiculously horrible. The Anthem, it's a good knife. Does it, does it need to be a fucking $500 knife? No, it's not that good. Now, this Integral, this one deserves to be that good. They're that expensive because of the work that went into it. This wee OAO here. Just the, the work that went into dovetailing all this stuff in. Did I ever end up keeping the 940? Yeah, and you know why I have the 940? I keep the 940. It's right there in the case because it's one of my three standard size comparison knives. It's the only thing it's there for. The only thing it ever gets out of the case for is for size comparison on another knife because it's one of the, it's one of the best well-known uh, knives in, on the market. Like everybody knows the Benchmade 940. Do you spring turkey hunt? No, I'm, see, I'm out in San Diego. We don't, there's not turkey hunting out here. Back home in Ohio, I used to. I definitely would turkey hunt, deer hunt, squirrel, rabbit. Like I said... I have, a little, I have a little thing that I'm pretty sure of that the cuter the animal, the better it's going to taste. Because if you can get enough of them together to throw together enough chipmunks and throw them in the freezer, like when you, you're shooting them with an air rifle to keep them out of your tomato patch, if you get enough of them together and then throw them in a smoker and then take that smoke, that smoked, uh, pick all the meat off and throw it in with some biscuits, some biscuit gravy, or make some dumplings, some uh, chipmunk dumplings. <laughs> you just gotta have a lot of them, and you gotta be patient because it's hard as hell to skin chipmunks. It's really hard. Okay, I've said this for years. Rabbit is what chicken could have been if it tried. And then Squirrel is better than rabbit because, well, they're cuter. So the cuter the animal, the better they taste. They're smaller, so it takes more of them. Rabbit's delicious. Squirrel's even better. And then when you get down to chipmunk, I don't know. It was it's delightful. It was delightful. Smoked, smoked chipmunk. You just don't want to dry. You just want to make sure you don't dry it out. Possum isn't bad. Groundhog is not bad. It's a little greasy. It's a little greasy, but we used to, like, if we shot a groundhog out of a tree, we would skin. We didn't waste anything on the farm growing up. I had, I had. I had fucking uh, groundhog. My grandfather did groundhog on. Oh, yeah, we used to do dove hunt. We had doves that would come out of. When we started having dove season in Ohio, we would just go down to the barnyard and wait for the morning doves to come in and out of the barn. Dove is delicious, but dove, I don't know. Dove is hard as fuck to shoot. <laughs> it's like they see the pellet. I was like, it's like they know, like they can avoid midair, <laughs> the pellets. I'm like, how did he dodge? Did he see them? Really, really hard to shoot. Um, I've eaten pigeon. Pigeon is really good. I've eaten probably about anything that you could shoot. Uh, if you could shoot it, I probably did and ate it. Because <laughs> like I said, we grew up on a farm. We didn't care. Um, 
it was it was food, you know. So, um, we used to we used to go out in Simon Theater with the Chipmunks. Yeah, and I bet they were delicious. So, um, I'm not gonna stay on here too much longer. I just kind of want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, what's going on with the channel? Um, I will try to have a video go up. Thir There'll be a video go up Thursday and Sunday this week, and then I think I'm going to move it to Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So, but I'm going to try and do live feeds on days in between. Like I said, it's probably going to be in the morning when I get off work. So, the other thing that I was thinking about doing... <laughs> is uh, since it's nice and dark out here. I slept all day today, and I didn't really have too much of a problem, but there was, like, the sun coming in when the sun shifted and it shined in the bedroom window and everything uh, as the sun was going down. That, that did wake me up a couple times. Um, I was thinking, when I get home in the morning, open up the garage door, get some, uh, some air moving through in the garage, close the garage door, keep a fan on, and then sleep out here on my, my spare mattress, the air mattress. Out here in the garage where it's nice and dark and quiet, uh, stuff like that, so. Russell County in Southern Virginia. I am from, so Bladed Ginger, just, I'm from uh, Southeast Ohio, uh, not too far from Wheeling, West Virginia. As a matter of fact, we used to, we used to go to Wheeling Island and watch the, the dog races. The Greyhounds are like, they're like little horses. Watch all the drunk, <laughs> watch all the drunk chicks hanging out there at the at the casino. So if you don't know, Wheeling Island is in the middle of the Ohio River, and so it's like in between Ohio and West Virginia, and they basically they made it an open commerce zone. So there's a casino and a dog track for groundhog or for a uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, greyhounds. Yeah, the Shenandoah Valley quick saddle tails. So uh, <laughs> we used to go to Wheeling Island. So it, it's, it's, it's something, I know West Virginia is different than Virginia. I do know that. I just thought it would be, it's okay. I think the dog wants out. The dog hasn't got to see me all day. I've been in bed all day. Let's see what the dog's doing. It was not. My daughter was just making noise. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Tell everybody, tell everybody what you, tell everybody what you did, uh, what you've got going on. Um, I currently have senioritis with my AP exams. But no, the, the big one that you told me you already filled out. I accepted UCSD. So she's she's doing... <laughs> Are you still doing your calculus? You can look at my notebook, but I don't have it open right now. So she's currently doing calculus. That's not... But this is what I was going to show you guys. Oh, okay. She got her welcome letter. Actually, show them the language that I'm trying to learn right now. I can't with this, guys. Like, this is ridiculous behavior. This is ridiculous. Telling me I need to know the anti-derivative. Why don't you drive out of here? Because F prime. And then Satan said, put the letters in the math. <laughs> it's not even, I actually, I actually think it's kind of fun. Like, I like it. Like, I think it's fun. Until I have to fill out six pages of work, and I'm like, this isn't fun anymore. Well, the nice thing is you're going to be going to college, you're going to be able to live here. And then you can start paying rent. That means I have to drive an hour every day. Oh, welcome to the real world. I, I have to drive, drive an hour anywhere. every day. I have to, I'm going to have to drive downtown. Uh, what do I start doing tomorrow? Working. I have to drive it. downtown. Then I'm going to hear you she, makes it sound like, she makes it sound like I never like, have had a job. Years. But I do about 60 hours of editing I know, a week. Don't leave the house. It's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's not like it wasn't work. <laughs> Where's the dog? Hey, bud. He's him. Hey, bud. He heard me talking about him. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Say hi, Chunk. Sit. Good boy. Give me a shake. Give me a shake. Shake. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, she has no desire to be an influencer. Like she, 
So, so one of the guys on here, he's a knife designer. He made that one knife that I really like, the brown and black one with the weird looking yeah. just over. But I really, you remember the one I had? Yeah. Yeah, that I carried the other day. He, uh, he was like, she's just jealous that I'm an influencer and you're that he that you're an influencer and she's not. I was like, no, she's not. Like typically, she'd be throwing a fit that I even showed her in a video. She doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> yeah, no. She doesn't have nothing to do with that. So she got into the computer science program at uh, UCSD, which it, which is a really, really hard, let, well, let her. So that is like the hardest, that they have the best computer science program at all the UCs, right? And it's one oh, of the, the hardest. UCs, but in, I think in the nation or in California, the computer science program is top five. I think it's top five in the I country. four. But you were saying it's a really hard program to get into. Yeah, at, they literally emailed me not verbatim, but they were like, you might want to change your major because it's too selective and you have an extreme low chance of getting in. They basically told me if I went in for computer science, I probably wasn't going to get in. But here we are yeah, months you, later and you got accepted. The only college that didn't tell me that was UCLA and they were like, actually, we don't want you. And I was like, mm. so you baited me. She, but I'm actually more happy about UCSB. She's right 16. Now. She's going to college just after she turned 17. Yeah. She's graduating early, so. But the nice thing, like I said, is I can get her a housing waiver. She can stay with us, because the last thing I want is a seventeen-year-old girl, who really is not. <laughs> she's not. She's not been having. I mean, she's she hasn't had the life experiences I did, so she's gonna. I like to have to be like throwing a fucking lamb to the wolves. Sending a 17 year old girl that has basically been homeschooled all through junior high and high school into a college setting where she's living in a dorm. I see bad things happening. And so I, she's just going to be able to stay here where I can make sure that she's not drunk in a ditch, getting her drink laced with something. And if it does happen, I know where I can fucking go to find that person. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a pleasant person to deal with on a good day. Uh, she does not have any interest in any of that. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's definitely, when she, she's fighting an injury right now for skating. There, Will. Um, the, uh, this is the old design. She, they have a, there's a team at UCSD. She's going to try and be part of the skating team. But right now she's fighting with injury. She's on a three-week off period. So she's had MRIs, she's had x-rays, she's seeing physical therapy. Uh, she's got some weird kind of weird nerve injury. Protect her life, the most valuable thing in your life, as a father. You want to come out, bud? Chunky? You want to come out? I'm going to close the door. Yeah, I'll leave it open. As a father, my only job is to keep her breathing until she's 18, and then for the rest of the life, she's not going to be on the pole. Like that, that's... And she's, she's made it 16. I think I'm going to be okay for the first, for the next two because she's way smarter than I ever was and does not do the dumb shit that I do. Uh, she's much more focused and disciplined than I ever was, and that's because I instilled that in her, and so did her mother. But the fact is now, knee injury, no, she's got a, we think it's, what do we think it is, tendonitis? I went to PT, and I asked her, I was like, is there any way, like, do you have any idea what's going on? She's like, I'm not an ortho, I'm not an actual, like, doctor, I'm a physical therapist, so I can't tell you anything but that I think it's inflamed, but they, she... They might not be able to hear you. I forgot that I've got this microphone. Oh. Well, she said, the only thing I can tell you is that it's inflamed. My MRI results come out. Uh, she said she wants me to get a written report. When I go there. But at any rate, what it is is on her left leg, she's got almost what feels like like a, almost like a pinched nerve. And so when she skates, her leg Those just kind of. Those aren't for free. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but she said she warned me. She does me have my sense if, of humor. She warned me and said that if they do find anything, I might be immobilized for a little. You might have to put a boot on. It's like, guys, I almost cried in my PT session today. So, um, I am going to do a couple things that I have been putting off. I owe the company that sent me all of these reviews on these products. Um, these are actual playable cabinets. I have a channel that's called Crazy Sharp Gaming or Crazy Sharp Games. I'm going to do 
that uh, I'm going to do that. Oh, no, she hates not being able to skate. Uh, I'm going to do reviews on all these playable cabinets. So I have the Missile Command. I have Dragon's Lair. I got 1942. I got to clean them all up. But I'm going to do all that. So if you guys don't follow my gaming channel, you should. Oh, Rickert, just looking for a quarter of a year or half a year. So I do have other channels. So what would you know about pinched nerve? I can't, you can't feel your nerve. Oh, guys, I slept fucked up today and my whole arm hurts today. Um, so, yeah, that's just all the stuff that's going on. I'm going to I'm gonna get everything set up so I can come out here. I owe reviews on these two knives. Uh, Scab over at Choir Boys Cutlery gave this one to me. This is the Grizzly. This one was given to me by Carnivora. I got to do finished reviews on these before too long. And then I think he and I might do a live feed from a walk. We might go up on the mountain for a walk, huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? And so I had somebody ask me about carpet, about why there's carpet on the uh, floor in the studio. And the, the carpet that's out here, not only is it much easier to enjoy the time that it's not a studio when I watch TV, because this is basically our living room um, or my man cave. This is the only downstairs TV. Um, it gets rid of the echo. Thinking about burning a fair amount of money on making a run of chef's knives. Don't do it. I'm going to tell you right now, don't do it. It is. It's really good sound dampering, and the dog can come out here, and I can, like, when I don't have the studio set up, my wife just came in to get the dog's food. She's you. So, um, when this is not a studio, it's like a lounge, and it's a mess right now because I'm trying to get stuff organized and go through stuff, this stuff that needs shipped and stuff. But yeah, it's where we have, like if my daughter and I are going to watch TV, this is where we do it. This is where I play all my video games. That way it's not, there are knives. That's all knives. That's a seven foot set of shelves and it's pretty much all knives. So yeah, that's, this is what, this is where I spend literally all of my time. So it's nice to have that rug because if I want to take my shoes off, and sit out here and, and have my my shoes off and sit in my gaming chair and, and watch a movie. It's a lot more comfortable to do it with a rug down than just on the bare concrete. How's that? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I went longer than I thought I was going to. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with... Can I see that? Can I see that? That's a, that's a replica 5-inch gun, H-E-P-D-P-D-D-108. Yes, that, was a, that was a Christmas present from a friend of mine. He... Now, these things are 72 pounds. Oh, I want to say it's an M1, M Mark, Mark 160. No, I was right, 106. That's what it was. Just goofy stuff that I have laying around. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of time with my kid before she goes to bed. Um, I, Like I said, I'll get videos up. There won't be a, there probably won't be a live feed tomorrow morning. Um, so, I probably have a coffee cup to take to work. I have a, this is, this is my work cup. This is, this is my work cup. Ginger. Papa didn't raise no commie. That's my work coffee tumbler. Also available at Crowder Shop. So. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Blade of Ginger, it, I'm glad I know who you are now. I, I absolutely am. That, I... Really love that design. If that's your first outing, that's a great, great design. Um, and I'll keep you guys informed of what's going on with the drop point version of the Sea Snake. And then 
I got a bunch of videos I need to do. And to paying members, if you guys are a paying member, I am going to be doing that giveaway soon. I just haven't had time. It's just been hectic, uh, especially trying to, trying to, the big one was trying to get the audio figured out and getting all the parts. Like I had to get a specific adapter so that I could use the, the microphone on my phone and have consistent audio. And then sometimes just looking at this shelf of stuff that's in for review, it just gets daunting. It's, it's just as a daunting thing. Like all this stuff needs to be done and finished. Some of it's in various states of review. And that, I mean, there's boxes all the way back all the way back. There's boxes all the way back. There's stuff in here. And that's why stuff gets forgotten about. So if somebody sends me a knife, you've heard me say it, like, ah, it fell behind a shelf. It fell back in the back of the shelf and didn't realize it was there. That's where it probably was. So I need to, I need to take a day. I think my next day off Monday, I don't know how much I'm going to film. I have enough stuff filmed. I got like 20 videos already filmed and stuff. You're going to see some videos that are older. Audio is going to be a little bit worse. My beard might be in a different length. And it's because they've been sitting waiting to go. Um, so I just need to tear the shelves apart and just get everything moved around and make sure there's nothing that got forgotten. That's why it took so long for the Lamia, how I got my Lamia, because I absolutely love the fact that Alex gave me one and now I don't know where I, I fucking put it. I don't know where I put my Lamia. I think I put it in my pocket, didn't I? But anyway, Alex gave me that Lamia and it was because he sent me one and I did the review and then I was going to send it to him and it, it was in just a nondescript pouch. There it is. It was in a nondescript pouch and it fell back in behind and I thought I'd sent it to him. I thought I had sent it to him and I, I was like, hey man, I found it. It's all wrapped up. It's ready to go. He's like, no, keep it. I was like, bro, I can't. He's like, no, keep it. Like, seriously, keep it. He's like, and he showed me, he's like, I've got 60 of them sitting here. And I was like, I'm not going to argue too much more. Like, I'm trying to tell you, no, I don't want to take a fucking, like, almost $1,000 knife. And I was like, but this is the last time I would tell you no. And he goes, no, I want you to keep it. And I was like, I'm not going to say another word. It's mine now. So, awesome, awesome knife. It's great. Uh, just a really good all-around knife right there. So, all right, guys. I am going to get off of here. I love you all. Go follow my go follow all my affiliate links down below. Check out my sponsors, especially Coffee Grand Coffee. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Where's that button?